Hello, everyone. I'm Morgan, the principal engineer of Nivertone Technology. Today, I will show you how to connect to AWS IoT Core service on Nivertone NewMaker NUC980 IoT board. First, you need an AWS account. Enter the URL aws.amazon.com. Click the upper right corner, Sign in to the console to sign in. Enter your account and password. Then click Sign In. After Sign In, it shows AWS Management Console page. In the search field, enter IoT Core. It shows the IoT Core link. Click the link to enter IoT Core service. In the left column, select the Onboard page. Then, at the Configuring a Device, click Get Started to configure an IoT device. Click Get Started to go to the next page. This is to choose which method to connect to AWS IoT. Please choose Linux for platform and Python for device SDK. Then click Next to go to the next page. The page is to start to register an IoT theme. There are three steps. First, name your IoT theme. Here, we name it My-IoT and then click Next. Here, to download the IoT connection tool, click this Linux OXX button to start downloading. The download is a necessary action. After the download is complete, you can click the button to the next step. This is the last step. Just press Down to complete. Then, you can see that the IoT theme has been successfully created. Click Down, return to the AWS IoT page. In the menu on the left side of the page, Click Themes under Manage. At this time, you can see that the My-IoT has created in Themes. Next, we have to make some setting for the newly created theme. Click My-IoT, enter its management page. In the menu on the left side, select the Interact. Copy its HTTPS link. The application needs to know this link to be able to connect to this IoT theme. Next, download its security certificate. On the left side of the menu, click Security to go to the Certificates page. Then, click Create Certificate to create a certificate. It generates three files, which are Certificate, Public Key, and Private Key. Click each download to download these files, which will be used when the client connects to AWS IoT. After the download is complete, Click Activate to make this certificate effective. In addition to these three files, we also need a root certificate called root CA. Click the download link. It will open another web page. Please select the first root certificate, RSA 2048 key Amazon root CA1. Click the mouse right button to save it to the file Amazon root CA1. PEM. Now, you can close the page and return to where you just left. Here, we have downloaded four files, all of which are necessary for the AWS IoT connection later. Next, click Attach a Policy to set the policy. If all the IoT things have been created in this account, then it should appear in a list and you can directly select the existing policy of other IoT things to use. If this is a new account, you need to create a new policy. Click Click New Policy. Enter the policy name first, then select Advanced Mode. Edit the policy content directly. In Effective Statement, set to Allow to allow operation. In Action Statement, set to IoT column asterisk to accept all IoT commands. In resource statement, set to asterisk to allow access to the resource. Then click Create to create the policy. Click Manage Things again. Select My IoT Thing. Return to My IoT page. Click Security again. Then select the certificate just created. On the left side of the menu, click Policies. Currently, policies are still empty. Open the Action pull-down menu in the upper right corner and select Attach Policy. In the Policy list, the newly created policy should be in it. Click to select it, 
and then click the Attach button to complete the attachment. At this time, the policy we selected will appear on the Policies page. Here, we have created the IoT theme in the cloud. Next, we need to build a client application on NewMaker NUC980 IoT board. Connect to the URL tls.embed.org slash download to download the Embed TLS library. Click the link Embed TLS 2.16.3 Apache to download and save it. Next, copy the Embed TLS library to the NUC980 Linux development environment. Extract the Embed TLS library. Use Git to download AWS SDK, Git clone, HTTPS, github.com, slash AWS, slash AWS, dash IoT, dash device, dash SDK, dash embedded, dash C. After the download is complete, first delete its Embed TLS directory under the external lib directory. Move the extracted embed TLS directory to the external lab directory. Now you can compile the AWS SDK example. You can see five examples in the sample directory. The sample to be used is the subscribed publish sample. Enter the sample directory. There are three files that need to be modified. First, modify the MAC file. Change the compiler and linker from GCC to the NUC980's compiler and linker. Find and modify crypto lib dir pass. Delete crypto. The Mac file modification is complete. Next is the header file. Modify MQTT host pass. Pass the HTTPS link we copied on interactive page of the IoT things. Take a client ID name, not the same as the other clients. My things name is we created IoT things name, my dash IoT. The file names of root CA, IoT certificate, and IoT private key are the prior downloaded root CA and IoT security certificate. Please fill in this file name here. Next, modify some C files. The sample execution file should be in usr slash bin directory of root fs. And the certificate files should be in the usr slash certs directory. Here, please change the certificate directory to a relative pace, double dot slash certs. Name, make to compile it. It takes a few minutes to compile. The video skips compiling time. Copy the compiled execution file to usr slash bin directory of root fs. And copy the root ca and IoT security certificate files to usr slash certs directory of root fs. Then back to BSP Linux directory. Make the kernel. Upload the kernel image to board to execute it. Use if config and UDHCPC commands to connect to network. Due to certificate has time effective, the system time needs to be modified, or it may fail due to its prior certificates. Enter usr slash bin directory. Execute AWS client sample. You can see the client connect to AWS successfully. The sample keeps posting and receiving messages. That's all for AWS IoT connection. Thank you for watching. Welcome to subscribe to our channel. If you want to get more information, please contact us.